Welcome back everybody, this is Dan's Racing and Simulations. Thanks so much for joining in with me today. Now as you can see here guys, we have another field of view video. And if you have been watching me for a long time, you know that I, I am a stickler for using the correct field of view when it comes to sim racing titles. I always attempt to use the correct field of view whenever I can at all costs. Um, and I've made quite a few videos dealing with how to set up the field of view properly, what correct field of view is and why it is so important. And inevitably, every time I make a video, there's always people in the comments below that are, will argue with me and say that I'm incorrect on what field of view is and things like that. But apparently, I think that I'm just n either I'm being too detailed in explaining it that it gets too confusing for, pe for people to figure out or the people who are arguing down in the comments just really have no idea what the correct field of view is. Maybe you guys are just racing on consoles and the games that you guys are using just don't even have the option to adjust field of view. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm going to once and for all try to simplify this. Um, so this is going to be field of view as simple as possible. Okay, I'm going to try to use my artistic skills for this video to show this explanation. Just keep in mind, I am not an artist and my drawings will not be that great. But again, I'm a firm believer that using the correct field of view will make you faster. So what I'm going to do here is do something kind of interesting. I'm going to draw a picture of what it looks like. Use your imagination here. If you're sitting in a car looking through your eyes, uh, what it would look like when you're in your car. Okay, so you've got your steering wheel here. You got your little dashboard, right? I know this isn't perfect, guys. There's your uh, glove box over there. Here's your gas pedal. Here's your brake pedal. Uh, maybe a little floorboard hole right there. And then you've got your windshield. And then you're going to have the side windows and a door. Side window and a door. There's your mirror out the window, mirror out the window, kind of the roof line here, okay? That's out the window. This is kind of what you can see in your peripheral vision. The arguments that I get all the time is that when you're sitting right here with your peripheral vision, you can see out the sides. And I, I completely agree with that. When you're in a car and you're looking forward, your peripheral vision allows you to see over here and over here, okay? I'm with you on that. Out the window here, I'm going to give you some lines. That's supposed to be the road. I know it doesn't look right. There's trees and stuff. Bear with me on that. But you understand, this is the point here. This is what you've got. This is your field of view. Most of what you see is right in here. And then you have peripheral vision out that way, peripheral vision out that way. This is a correct field of view sitting in a car. This over here is your computer monitor. This is your 23-inch computer monitor, your 27-inch computer monitor, okay? The first thing I want you to take note of is the size difference between these two things. This is your actual point of view, your field of view of your eyes looking at your monitor, sitting pretty much the same distance away here and here, okay? What people try to do and what they try to tell me you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to squish this and make it smaller so that this all fits inside of here, okay? So the people who argue with me say you're supposed to squish this so that you can see this and all of your peripheral vision so that it's smaller and it fits inside your monitor. That is incorrect. None of this size here needs to change to keep the correct field of view this needs to be the correct size. So the correct way to get an accurate field of view is to basically imagine how your monitor would fit over top of this. This is what you've got. Okay? That's your monitor with the correct field of view. What you've done is you've moved your monitor Correct field of view, correct size, and nothing is changing sizes. Everything is still proportional to the way your eye should see it. You've brought your monitor right here. Okay, guys? You don't squish this image and make it smaller. You don't do this. Okay? This is not what you do. Windows, you get the point. Windows, door, window, door. You don't squish this. 
to make it fit inside your monitor. That is incorrect. And that is what a lot of people try to argue with me. You do not squish this and make this smaller because now you are looking at things with your same two eyes that are much smaller than what they should be. What you do to get the correct field of view, if you're not gonna use the calculation, is you have to think of your monitor as a window of sight. So if you're using the correct field of view, a lot of times with a single monitor, no, you cannot see what would typically be in your peripheral vision. That's what you get. I'm gonna grab my eraser here, and this is what you got. You see part of the top of the steering wheel, just over the dash, and out the window. And that's it, because that's the correct field of view. What you can see through your monitor is still the correct size. This is not. This is you taking all of that information and making it small. That is wrong. This is correct. Now, I didn't use a single number. I didn't use a single calculation. I just showed you visually how this works. And I know, I know that my artistic ability is not that great, but I'm hoping you guys get the point here. So I wanna wrap this up with one last thing. If you are running with your monitor with the correct field of view, and this is not enough for you, you want to be able to see more than this, then do not shrink this image your solution is to drop a few bucks and buy two more monitors and run a triple screen supported system. Okay, I know that looks crazy, but you get the point. If running the correct field of view is not enough for you and you can't see out your peripheral vision, the correct fix is adding in monitor number two and monitor number three and running a triple screen setup. If that's not enough for you, you have one more option after that. Oculus Rift, because you can look all around in the car all your heart desires. But the one thing I want you to take from this, guys, is that it's very important to use the correct field of view, and there are solutions to fixing. If, you're, if the correct field of view is not enough information visually for you, you can get two more monitors, or you can get an Oculus Rift, and you can see the entire world 360 degrees, however you want to. But again, guys, this is the correct field of view. And I'm sure I'll still have some people arguing with me in the comments that I'm explaining it wrong again, but I wanted to make it just as simple as I possibly could, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, guys. I think that this is, I promise, this will be the last video I make about field of view because I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing, it, hearing about it. But uh, hopefully this helped you kind of in a very simplistic way understand what field of view is if you did not already know what it really was. So thanks so much, guys, so much for watching. Uh, I will talk to you in the next video.